Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 11 of this restaurant. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to finalize our site plan. Now what, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add some sheets to our project. So here, I'm going to right click here. We already have a zero metric so we're gonna just use that if you want a different paper size you could go to load and then go to time uh, title blocks and then here are some of the different um, paper size that you could use uh, for now I'm gonna use a zero and then press OK now that I created sheet number one which is A101. Um, I could change the name here. This will be AC Designs. This will be MACD. So McDonald's. And this will be Cover Sheet. Project numbers, author, drawn by, you can put ACD and whatever. For now, we're going to leave this for our cover sheet. And then here, we're going to right click under sheet and then new sheet again. Same title block. And we're going to keep on adding sheets. So second one, let's go here. Um, you could change the name here or you could just double click here. And then you'll be able to put our first floor or floor plan. Here, what we could do is we could just drop this one right here. As you can see, it's too big. So what we can do is go to your floor plan and then we need to click here and crop visible what will happen is you'll be able to crop it to the size that you want so now the most important is to show the grid lines so that's what I'm doing after that go back to your sheet and that will be fixed there. I'm going to put it in the middle. And then here we could just put this one. We could actually change this to a site plan. Most of the time you start with site plan as well. So what I'm going to do is um, we're going to leave it like this for now. Go here into the next page, change this to go here, change this to site plan and then here change this to floor plan after that what you can do is you could just click here and then drag it what will happen is it will open the A103 and then you'll be able to add it in the middle. After that, let's go back to our site plan and then drop site. Here we need to clean it up again. So go to your site. Check all of this first. So now we just need to clean it up. I think it's better if we just put a little bit of those things only, not the whole thing. And then from here, you could add in some text. Um, 
for example, if you know the parking, how many parkings you have, for example, you can put 93 parking. So here we could all capital, like for example, 93 parking spot. You can make it bigger depending on what you want. So you could put it right here. And then you could put here the square meters or square feet of the so total square meters of the building and then if you know the information you just need to add it right here and then same here if you want to show like the parking lot you will need to have those um, decals if you have or you could um, add lines manually like that so you can do that as well it's up to you how you want to design your uh, site plan so that's good um, and then we did the floor plan and then here we could do the elevation so here let's add east elevation as you can see we need to go back to east again because we need to clean up again right here click apply and then once you have that move it And then move it right here as well. Once you do finish, just click apply and then uncheck so that it's not visible. Here, you just need to click that. And then if you want, it will not crop it but it will make sure it's still visible. So let's just do all the elevation before we add it. And then uncheck this one and click apply. Here, let's do consistent color again check all of this and then click apply and then now let's go to our elevation right here let's just fix this one So we have our east. Now let's add in our north. Perfect spacing. Go here. Change the name, elevation. And then go add south. And then west. So now it's up to you if you want to add section. Uh, I believe I show you how to create a section. Um, okay, so let's add a section. 
just for an example. So let's add two section. So go to your floor plan and then here click on section. We're going to add a section running here and then another section running or cutting right here. So everything is visible like that. Here we just need to move this one backwards like that. And then now you will have a section right here. Let's look at the section that we created. This one is empty at the moment, but once we add it to our sheet, it will look and then it will be automatically inserted for that numbering. So right now, uh, what we could do is change the consistent number or the color. And then here, let's change the consistency color as well. We could pull this one up. And then similar, let's just act, add section one and then section two here it's really small so what you need to do is you need to make it big so let's put it in one into 50 scale once you go back here you'll be able to fix that one as well And then go back here and I'm going to uncheck that. Uncheck this. And then drop the second section right about there. So now if you notice, it will fill in the information because this one, this view is going to this one so the title if you don't want any title you just need to select that and then go to drop down it will disappear but that's something that we need so we're, we need to add it there so now for our cover sheet uh, what we could do is we could go to our floor plan and then we could add in a camera view i'm gonna put it right about here so that's the look let's go to our graphic display Add in a sh some shadows and then the background gradient apply and then OK. And it will look like that. If you render it, it will look different. Now just need to go to your cover sheet and then go to your 3D view and then you can just drop it right here. So here, I don't want my 3D view title, so I could just change it like that. So here you could fill up different renderings. This is not something that you could um, make it big or scale it up. If you render this, you'll be able to add an image and then you could scale it bigger but for now this is the look that you have um, you can put in the name mcdonald and then you could make it bigger
if you want to make it bigger more duplicate put 15 mm and then change it right here 15 press ok and then you have McDonald's okay so now to print all of this what you need to do is you need to go to the file export and then let's print this um, you want to make sure to check combine because everything every time you change something sometimes this change as well so make sure to combine multiple or else it will create separate files so make sure to do that select here uncheck view check all you want to print all of this you can save this so full set press ok so now you have something that you can just use if you want to print the full set press ok and then ok now it will print and then once you're done we have the printout right here here we could just move this one a bit above um, and then there's our elevation and then our sections so for our side plan you just need to pull it up and then you just need to print it again and then here you could just move this one back like that so thank you for watching and hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below